<laughs> so the first question that comes up is from Danny. He says, hey, Bradley, where do you see local SEO in a year from now? I'm curious to hear your thoughts. It's a good question. You know, I'm, it's still up in the air as to what's going to happen with like uh, SGE and all that kind of stuff. So um, I don't know where it's going to be, except that it it's certainly very, it, it's, it seems to be very apparent, very clear that Google is trying to push non-paid results further and further down on the page. I was just talking about this earlier this week on our mastermind webinar. We had to make up webinar on Monday for the uh, webinar that we usually host on Thursday because it was um, Thanksgiving last week. But I was talking about that. I feel like as a local SEO, we also need to get better at local ads, uh, running Google ads, search ads, um, et cetera, because Google continues pushing non-paid results further and further down on the page. Depending on the local search query, I'm seeing all kinds of stuff. Sometimes I'll see a paid maps pack listing or or maps pack excuse me at the top of like the very top of the page before anything else there's like a little maps pack with only um advertise like you know people that are paying for google ads that are in there and then i'm also seeing in some search queries the local search the guaranteed google provider search ads that come up at the top is kind of like a carousel uh, and then below that regular paid ads and then in the maps pack i've seen as many as five listings with the first two being paid so you've got to go below like scroll halfway down the page before you ever even get to the first paid li or excuse me non-paid listing and so that's something i think is likely going to be uh continue to cause problems is um or for us as local seos is the non-paid results um you know g getting pushed further down on the page so I know you're asking specifically about local SEO, but as local SEOs, I think we need to also, if, 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 if we're relying on just SEO to produce results for our clients and generate leads, et cetera, and SEO non-paid results, which is typically what SEO is, right, um, keeps getting pushed further down the page, then that means there should be, you know, it makes sense that there will be less traffic and therefore less leads generated from organic SEO or non-paid results. And so I think we have to become better at that. So I'm I'm currently testing a lot with Google Ads, um, mostly in the tree service industry, but I got a couple of other clients, older clients of mine, and if the other industries that I'm testing with too, trying to get better results with ads myself, because I got a little rusty over the years. I haven't done a whole lot of search ad stuff, and I'm trying to do some more of that now just to, because of what I just mentioned. Like, I thought that was a good question, Danny, because I'm trying to prepare for that now by um, testing and, and just trying to get better at Google ads. It's a, it's a different animal than it was two years ago. It's, it's a lot different actually. So, um, I thought I was pretty, I thought I was fairly proficient at Google ads until I got back into them again. And then I realized I don't remember, I don't know shit <laughs> because, because the, the ads platform has changed so much in the, the bidding strategies, which in the past, I remember, you know, two, three years ago when I was doing a lot more ad stuff, search ad stuff, um, it was, yeah, I tested with some of the automated bidding strategies or bidding methods, whatever you want to call it. And um, they weren't great that in some cases they would work fairly well, but in other cases I could do much better doing manual bidding uh, and, you know, setting max cost per click values and all that kind of stuff. But what I've been experiencing lately is, you know, um, once I have some enough data in the account, if I select an automated bidding strategy, that it tends to over or perform better than what I could do on my own. And perhaps that's just because I don't have enough. Um, I'm not as you know as all that great at ads, but I'm um, seeing that the like the automated strategies tend to it, from from what I'm seeing again, just from my own testing, um, are performing a lot better than they did a couple of years ago, two or three years ago, and they seem to be outperforming what I can do on my own. Uh, and again, that's probably likely just because I'm not great at ads right now. You know what I mean? But the point that I'm trying to make is I think that's going to be one of the more important things to do. And also to also look at other sources besides just Google search, um, certainly. But, you know, how else can we generate leads besides that? So I think that's something else that's going to become more important. Um, have a more holistic approach to generating leads for a local business than just through, you know, non-paid uh, results or SEO, if that's clear. So hopefully you understand what I'm saying. I, I, I expect, a, you know, a lot of stuff to change. Um, and, and it looks like Google continues to just make it harder and harder for us. And, you know, I can understand that, but we have to evolve with it. So I think ads is going to be part of it. Good question, though.